Hey y'all, well I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I figured it's time to get back on here and I'm making my grandmother's congealed salad. I love this so much this time of year. It's refreshing, it's got lemon, lime, pineapple, it's cool, it's just so good. So it's really easy to make. Um, and typically I use the regular jello. I've got the lemon jello and the lime jello, but I have the Walmart brand, it'll be fine and crushed pineapple, cottage cheese, mayonnaise, and pecans, and that's all there is to it. So stick with me and we'll get right to it. Here we go. Alrighty, so I've got water on the stove. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil and um, then I'm just gonna mix that with the jello. There's two cups in the pot and that's all that you need. So when that comes up to a boil, then we will get the jello mixed. And now it's boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and add the jello, which I've already opened and torn the packets to make it quick and easy. I'm just going to dump that in the bowl and then add the boiling water and get this all mixed up. This goes so quick when you're mixing it, the hard part is waiting around in the refrigerator for it to set because it does take several hours for it to set and um, I never can wait until it's set all the way. I always have to just get some as soon as it's mostly set. but. It's a very pretty dessert if you wait for it to be set all the way and you serve it in nice pretty squares and whatnot. And um, of course you can double this recipe. What I'm putting this in is a square casserole dish, but you can double this if you wanted to put it like in a, a cake a cake pan or something like that. Um, and so, okay, I'm just mixing this jello and getting it dissolved all the way in that boiling water. Just keep stirring. And that's probably that's probably good enough alrighty now it's time to add some cottage cheese it's going to take one cup of cottage cheese so let me get something and measure this out and I don't have my measuring cup so I'm just going to kind of be eyeballing this a little bit just the, and it's the 4% is what I normally buy, but I do buy the small curd because if you buy the large curd cottage cheese, you're going to end up with big, big chunks of cottage cheese in your congealed salad. And it's just, it's, I think it looks a little nicer when you're using the small curd. You can use the large curd if you want, but this is what I use. And the 2% is also fine. I just go for the 4%. So it's a cup of cottage cheese. And then I'm going to get this all mixed in and then each step of the way you want to make sure you're getting everything mixed in all the way as much as possible. It's not the prettiest thing in the bowl, but boy, it sure does taste good when it's done. This is an old fashioned thing. Duke's mayonnaise, y'all. We got to add some Duke's mayonnaise. It's going to be four tablespoons of mayonnaise. And, you know, mine are a little bit heaping. I don't, I don't do level tablespoons of mayonnaise, um, but this just makes it creamy and good. And so let me get those in there. And you know, this is one of those things that my grandmother always would have on the table. And to this day, she, she still does. She'll have it on the table for a lot of holiday gatherings and family gatherings and things like that. It's just so pretty because once we get done mixing all this up and um, we pour it in the dish, you sprinkle some pecans on top, crushed pecans, and it's just it just looks nice. It just looks really nice. And I don't know if any of y'all have ever gone to like a Southern style cafeteria restaurant a lot of times they'll have some kind of congealed salad or something like that um, and this will remind you of that it's just such an old school just old-fashioned recipe and it's delicious and I, I mean I just can't say enough good things about it I'm getting these little bits of um there, there were some little bits of cottage cheese in there that sort of were clumping. And so I'm just mashing them a little bit to kind of help smooth it out. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. The main thing is just, you know, that you don't have any big chunks in there. You just want it to be as smooth as you, as you can. I've 
I reckon you could put it in like a blender or something, but I don't see the point of that. Um, but if it bothered you to have any of the little pieces in there, you could do that. But I think it's part of it to have the little suspended pieces of cottage cheese and pineapple and all that stuff in the jello. It's, it's just good. So now I'm going to use, add the pineapple to this. And here it is. It's just the can of Dole crushed pineapple. Used to, you could buy a smaller can than this. This is the 20 ounce can, but I'm not using the whole thing. I'm just going to use half of this and the rest I'll put in the fridge and use it for something else. But, you know, and I'm not going to measure it out. I'm just going to get out half of this and put it in there and then mix this up really good. And then that's it. And I'm going to be pouring it into the dish and adding the crushed pecans on top. There's probably a more elegant way to do this, y'all, but whatever. This works. <laughs> it gets it in there. And you'll notice I didn't pour out the juice or anything from the pineapple. I, you know, I think it adds flavor. So um, I, some people might. And you know what? Another thing, you might could also use like the chunks of pineapple. I've never tried that before, but I imagine it would be just fine. It would just end up with a chunkier um, congealed salad. So now I'm just getting that all mixed in with the other ingredients. And as soon as all mixed up, then I'll be putting it in that little dish and sprinkling the crushed pecans on top and getting it in the refrigerator. There's another version of this that my grandmother makes that's called cranberry jewel salad, which is it's cranberry based, but it also uses the cottage cheese and the jello it's it's pretty too it's really pretty especially at thanksgiving christmas time whatnot so maybe i'll have to try to remember that when i do another holiday series this year all right so now it's time to pour the mixture into this dish and like i said this is just the square casserole dish it will make it can splash a little bit when you pour it but it's okay so it's just going to go in there and um there's a little piece of pineapple, something in there. Okay. I'm just going to take these little crushed pecans. I'd say this is probably about, I don't know, a quarter of a cup of crushed pecans. If you were you're doing like a larger cake pan, you might want to use like a half a cup. Just And you don't have to use them if you don't want to. It's just that you typically put these on top. So you're just going to sprinkle as many as you want on there. And this is how many I want. You could do more, you can do less. It's totally up to you. And they're just going to stay on top and they're just going to float. And then when the um, the congealed salad, let me see if I can talk, the congealed salad sets, you're just going to have the little pretty pecan topping. And that's all there is to it, y'all. That's all there is to it. So now I'm just going to cover this with some plastic wrap and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it set probably for about, I don't know, probably about six or eight hours. I'll, I'll go back and check on it. A lot of times when I make this, I make this um, at night late and then I'll just let it be in the refrigerator all night and so I check it the next morning. Um, but anyway, it's going to be at least six to eight hours and then it'll be, then it ought to be ready. And I'll cut a piece and show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, I got to confess, we already got into this yesterday, but I forgot to record it. So I'm bringing it back and I'm cutting some more slices right now for my mom and I. So pardon me for cutting this and it's already been cut to show y'all what it looks like, but I got to show you what it looks like. So let me get this plastic wrap off. and get get this cut show you how it turned out <sighs> it's probably just as well anyway because when i first cut it yesterday it wasn't quite set all the way yet because we were just too impatient and we just wanted some but it's perfectly set now so it'll be good and it'll come out a little bit better you do a lot of times want to just sort of cut it from the sides a little bit so it won't stick to the edges at all. So 
So there we go. You see that? That's just so good, y'all. And if you've ever been to one of those cafeterias, you know what I'm talking about because they have things like this. They might have them and they might be a different color jello or whatever. But y'all, this is so good. This is such a refreshing spring and summer treat, but you can also serve it during the holiday season at the family dinner table. And it is so good. So I hope you make this. I hope you let me know what you think in the comments below. Try it with different flavors of jello if you want. You're going to love it. I'm sure of it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.